A splash landing in Stowe. The pilot of this ultralight plane managed to get out alive. T but tonight the FAA is investigating after the plane crashed right into the Assabet River. WBZ's Jim Smith has the story. He was sitting under the wing up in the front here, which is what they're getting out now. Crews work to remove what's left of an ultralight plane from the Assabet River in Stowe. A 55-year-old man was piloting this aircraft, taking off when it suddenly lost altitude and crashed into the water. Apparently, he wasn't climbing well, and um, he ended up there. They saw him go by, and then they heard a splash, and then he was swimming to shore. So that's the good news. Whenever there's a problem with an airplane and you're co only cold and wet, that's good news. <laughs> that's really good news. Anytime an aircraft crashes into water, it's a big problem. That's why when it came to rescuing this pilot, literally every minute counted. We'll crack by Crow Island for a plane in the river. Stowe fire crews scrambled, joining a civilian working in a nearby hangar. The pilot had made it partially to shore, but still needed help. We couldn't see uh, any signs of life, anybody moving around on the airplane at all, so uh, we put on the cold water rescue suit. And uh, I just I went and I went and started swimming towards the airplane just to see if there was something we could do. We loaded him up at, into the canoe. Um, we made him as comfortable as possible, and then uh, just as fast as possible, got him back to the shore. That pilot was taken to Leahy Clinic with non-life-threatening injuries. The cause of the crash under investigation. In Stowe, Jim Smith, WBZ News.